Okay, my YouTube people, this is the video on how to check out your pump to make sure it's still in spec on any of the Harley V twins that have the external oil pump. So first, let's go through what's in front of us. I have a James gasket. It's JGI-81-FLH. This fits 1980 through 91 oil pumps. I have the front of the oil pump. I have the body of the oil pump. I have the pressure gears and the scavenger gears. Have the three caps. One of these caps goes on the tappet lifter screen. This is a witch's hat style screen, and there's a spring that goes on with that. You have this heavy spring and this piston, and this is the oil pump pressure regulator. You have this check ball and a light spring. This check ball keeps the oil up in the oil tank and doesn't let gravity put oil down into the engine. If you're having a sumping issue, this is the part that you need to look at is the oil pump drive shaft. This is the oil pump drive gear that goes on the shaft and also allows the pinion to spin the pump. If you're having a sumping issue, you wanna look down in there and there's a seat down in there. That check ball goes up against that seat and keeps oil up in the oil tank and doesn't let it just gravity feed down. You wanna make sure that there's no dirt on that seat and there's no cracks. The best way I've found to stop sumping is you get one of these balls and weld it to a rod. And then you take a very fine lapping compound, put it on the ball, and then lap that seat. And that has fixed the problem every single time I've had a sumping issue. And I'll show you how this is done. First, I just take and get a little bit of lapping compound on the ball. And a little is plenty, it doesn't take much. Now, I push the ball down in here, and with pressure, I just take and turn it and lap that seat a little bit. And you can hear it just lapping that seat. But it's important to use a very fine lapping compound. You don't want to put scratches in it. And I like to do it in four different places on the ball. Just lift it up, give it a quarter turn. And then that's it. Now the other most important part about this is you have to get every bit of that lapping compound out. If not, it's going to go into your oil pump and then into your motor and damage the motor. I'll clean it and show you what that looks like. To clean it, I use brake clean and a rag and spray it down real good. And then after that, I use a lot of compressed air to make sure that I get all the grit out. Not sure how well that shows up on the camera, but it has a nice finish down on that seat where the ball lapped into it. I'm not really sure where I learned the lapping trick from. I can't remember if I read it or an old timer showed it to me. The next thing you have to do is you have to inspect how worn the pump body is. And the way you do that is you put the gears in the body and then you put a straight edge across it and the gears should extend above the pump body three to four thousandths. You have to do that for the scavenger side and the pressure side. So of course the one with the key goes where the shaft would come through. The reason that they stick out is they have to be tight up against the engine block and up against this cover. and that distance that they stick out is the thickness of the gaskets. So you just put a straight edge across the gears and then you put a feeler gauge and it should slip down and it has a little bit of drag right there. You wanna do both gears so it has to be done on both sides. It's definitely at four thousands. So that side's good. Again, you put the keyed gear where the shaft would come through No problem on that side. No problem on that side. So the pump body's not worn and it's still good. The other thing is very important is you want to check down in here and make sure that it's not grooved. It won't build pressure if these are grooved real bad. Now this, you can see some lines in it, but my fingernail's not catching on any of those lines. So they're fine. Same with over here. Then we go on this side and there's no lines at all. You also want to make sure that there's no gouges or recess in this part of the oil pump cover because again, oil will go around the gears if there's any gouges or really bad scoring or anything. So now you're able to assemble the pump. First thing you want to do is you want to put your lip seal in this hole to seal the shaft. And the way this goes in is the lip faces the engine block like this. The way I do this is I use the backside of a socket 
that's a little bit bigger than it and then tap it down with a hammer and then I'll use a deep socket and set it in a little bit more. I also use the smallest hammer I own. Now I'll go to the deep socket. So now I have it in there and it has to be below the surface and if it's not you have to keep putting it in and that needs to go in a little further. So it's important that this is below the surface. If not, the gear will rub on it and chew it up right away. Gear down in here lightly, and you can feel it turns free, so it's not hitting it. So now that you have the seal in, you want to start assembling the pump, and you need the new check ball, and the O-ring that goes on the cap. You place the check ball down in there, the spring in, put the new O-ring on the cap, I like to put a little oil on the o-ring to help it smoothly go in and then you put the cap on so if you have to take these caps off at all you have to buy this tool it's a Jim's part number 2233 this tool has a three-quarter hex on one side and has this slot on the other that way you can install these without doing damage to them like everybody does in the past and then this just slips right in there and fits perfectly and you can tighten these down with no problem the next thing you want to install is you want to install the pressure regulator. So what happens is if pressure gets too high, this lifts up and allows pressure to be pushed back to the oil tank instead of overpressuring your engine. Now you definitely want to put some lube on this before you put it in so it slides up and down real free the very first time. You just drop it in the bore, drop the spring in, get your cap and put a new o-ring on it. And you lube the o-ring then you take your tool and tighten it down these don't have to be overly tight the o-ring does the sealing the last thing you have to do before you install everything is you have to use assembly lube and I'm fanatical about assembly lube and I really like this red line paste so you just want to make sure that you paste up the shaft on both sides and then you want to paste the gears real good pasting the gears does is it allows them as soon as they turn to instantly pull suction so that it pulls oil. You're also going to pre-lube the engine and the oil pump before you start it. So it'll be full of oil, but it's important to make sure that if something goes wrong, there's assembly lube on it so you don't risk the chance of damaging anything. On this pump, this is the suction side. This sucks from the oil tank into the oil pump and then it goes through the engine. It comes out of this side over here and goes back to the oil tank or to the oil filter and then to the oil tank. The part number on this pump body is 26219-68B. Last thing you want to do is you want to check both sides of all your gears and make sure that none of the teeth are chipped, the hardness isn't going away, there's no funny wear on them or they're not overworn in general and these gears are in perfect condition you also want to check your pinion gear to make sure it doesn't have excessive wear or any teeth cracked or broken and the hardness isn't wearing off if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I always try to get to them watch because I'm gonna have a video of how to install it properly on your engine please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching I appreciate it